Hi everyone, it's Judith here from Gigi's Cool Creations. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you are here. So happy Tea Tuesday, everyone. I've got my tea here. It's mint tea. I just gotta stir it around a little bit. I hope you all are having a lovely day. Um, I am having a great day. And the reason is, well, this morning the mailman came and um, I'm going to have a video after this opening my third kawaii box. So stay tuned for that, please. But I also got another box. And this one is from La Chica Baby 22 who is on Instagram. I'll be sure to link her Instagram in the description box below. Now the reason why she sent me this is because she got a box in the mail <laughs> and it all started with Soy Crafty who I will also link in the description box below. Now Soy Crafty um, she started the Soy Crafty Reuse Challenge and it says, so you get this box, you get this box in the mail and it's got this sticker on it and it says, you have been selected to participate in this Reuse This Box Challenge to send happy mail to a friend in two weeks. Please take a picture and use hashtag Soy Crafty Reuse Challenge when you get this box on Instagram. And that's all the instructions that you get. <laughs> so I um, just got this box today and I was really excited about it. Now I'm new to Janet, who is La Chica Baby 22, but she um, did a fabulous job. So there's all this nice shreds and goodness inside. It's a relatively small box, but I, what I really like about it is the idea that you're spreading crafty love in the crafty community. You don't expect anything in return. You just send in two weeks, you create or you offer goodies that are crafty to the next crafty person and you choose. Or if you don't know how to choose, if you can't pick someone, then you can leave a message on Instagram saying, hey, I got this box, who wants it? You know, and the first person to answer can get it. So I'm just gonna give you like a little look through um, of some of the things that Janet sent me. So she sent me a lot of cards, which I just love. I love cards. This is a Halloween card and they're all, they're all blank inside so I can reuse them, which is great. So, and then she sent me these, which I think are like almost like twinchies, but a little bit bigger. And you can paper clip them on something because she left a paper clip on the, ins on the, on the back. And they're like little cards. This one says party. They're absolutely fabulous. She sent me some die cuts. I don't know if you can see inside it because of the glare, but they look like Halloween. I see a skull and bones. They look like, you know, more like rock star and Halloween type die cuts. This looks like a, a clock and a witch's shoe. It's always fun getting die cuts because everyone has different ones. She sent me some bird and, um, butterfly like 3d dimensional stickers she stamped some images for me I love this one <laughs> I think I actually have that stamp she sent some vellum quotes and then this was on top so just a beautiful little mouse paper <laughs> um, she sent me some stamps, some really, really, really cute kawaii stamps. I think those are really adorable. Um, she sent me some, she cut out some die cuts, bunch of golden butterflies. Love that. Love these jemmies and these colors that she sent. Love them. She sent a ton of washi samples on these little popsicle sticks, which I think is such a great idea because I'm always looking for ways to send washi to people because everyone's got different washies, just kind of like die cuts. So um, I thought that was a clever idea. She sent this little paperclip banner. 
I mean, she packed this box full. I don't know how she got it all in there. Now this, I'm guessing, it are die cuts that make a box. But I'm going to have to ask her how I put them together because there are three pieces. There's like this piece, and there's this piece, and then there's this piece. So I'm looking forward to making little gift boxes. Then she sent me um, four. Um, they're rather simple. I don't know if this goes on bottom or on top, but either way, I absolutely love these. They're embossed at the top or at the bottom, depending on how you send them. And um, they've got a little bow, which she made. Um, I think these are just so cute. Absolutely adorable. I love those little cards. Perfect for sending for winter or holiday mail. Then here's another holiday one. All is calm and bright. So a little Christmas card, a little winter card. I got another card here. It says magical <laughs> with the unicorn and boo with the two ghosts. I think this is super cute for Halloween and then some a sample of some trim. So that was what was in my little box. Now I have two weeks to send off to someone and I've already started crafting because I actually knew that I was getting this box. So I already started crafting for the next person and I will be sharing what I will be sending the next person once that person receives the box. So yeah, I just was really, I think this is just a wonderful challenge. I need a sip of tea. Mm. It's refreshing. <laughs> I just, I love the idea. I love the idea of spreading love. You know, when I first started doing YouTube, I started because I wanted to follow my progress. I wanted to see, am I progressing? Am I getting better? And then I started meeting all of you wonderful ladies. Um, I have made so many crafty friends that that's basically the reason why I've stayed doing YouTube and Instagram and making it all creative and fun. Um, now I know I go on and off. I'm not as regular as some of you, but um, I don't know. I, I at a moment was like, should I continue? But then I was like, you know what? I've made so many crafty friends and there are so many of you out there that I still haven't met that I would love to meet. Um, there are some challenges that I want to enter, uh, of people that I don't know that I've never spoken to, but I just want to meet and be in the crafty community because it's been so welcoming and warm to me. Um, and part of that is this box you're, you're sending to someone to share your crafty love, um, without expecting anything in return. And that's what this community has been for me. So, um, I really appreciate it. So thank you, Janet, so much for all the gorgeous goodies. Um, I look forward to sharing what I've made for um, someone special who's going to get the next box. And hopefully someone will get the box after her and after her and after her. So yeah, that is what I wanted to share this Tea Tuesday. Um, I also want to thank all of you who watched last Tea Tuesday when I talked about my Halloween party. You guys gave me some great ideas. I have been doing a lot of research still, and I found some cute little, um, like, Halloween fun games that you can do just while you're, you're at a party without really stopping the party to play a game. I have some friends who aren't really into playing games, um, and I have some friends... Simba, you want to say hi? Yes, my baby. Um, I have some friends that are into games. I have some friends that are, aren't into games. So I have printed like um, games. Uh, for example, I'll just show you guys. <laughs> it's easier than to explain. But this was on one of the websites. It says uh, from mypartygames.com. And there are little emojis, and you're supposed to figure out what they mean. So I would guess that the first one would mean haunted house. And I think this is great because, um, yes, I can write haunted house because it's easier for me in English, but the next person who maybe doesn't speak English could write, uh, 
maison hantée or manoir hantée. Uh, uh, and uh, you can write it in whatever language that comes easiest to you because they're just images. So I thought that would be fun. And you don't have to do it. I'll just have it, you know, laying around different kind of games like that. And um, I've printed off like maybe four or five. And um, what I'm really excited about is actually one of my friends is bringing two of her friends. So I'm going to meet two new people. And these are people who um, every time I throw a party, either for like my birthday or for some kind of holiday, um, she is invited because she's one of my friends and she's just amazing. And she tells her friends about it. And she says that these two girls were like, you were so lucky to have a friend like that. And I just... I just was like, well, invite them, you know, like the more the merrier, you know. Um, also, I have a lot of friends who aren't into my type of parties. Um, I don't drink alcohol. Um, I like being crafty. I like playing games. I like chatting and just having a nice leisure time. Um, but not with like loud music and partying, the typical partying way. So, um, these friends of my friend, uh, like the ideas or like the sound of my party. So they're coming and I'm really excited to meet them. So yeah, that was my Tea Tuesday. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day and until next time, crafty hugs, everyone. Bye-bye.